Designed by architect Alfred Mullet and based on elements of the Berkeley Castle in the United Kingdom, Berkeley Castle is an oddity in the quiet town of Berkeley Springs. Berkeley Springs is itself a very early town, and it was once known as Bath, Virginia, for its well-known and famous Warm Springs. The castle rises on a promontory above the town and is a landmark, drawing curiosity seekers from all over. It was built in 1885 for the Samuel Taylor suit family, but his untimely death before the castle was complete resulted in only his wife and kids living there. Samuel's wife was well known for holding lavish parties at the house and finally, after running out of money in 1916, was forced to sell it. The castle overlooks West Virginia's smallest state park, made famous by its founder, George Washington, in 1776, and features his bath, which is fed by a spring flowing unceasing at 74 degrees and a thousand gallons per minute. It is here where the sandstone was quarried for the castle that the Appalachian history detectives and Johnny Bottles search for turn of the century treasures. Stay tuned. Hello folks, welcome to this episode of the Appalachian History Detectives. We are on site and uh, I am here at the Berkeley Castle. You can see the castle here behind me. It is a landmark. I'm in West Virginia. It's very unusual to see a castle like this in the state of West Virginia. Build a sandstone. I'm going to take you to the sandstone mine where they mined uh, the stone to build this castle. It's actually on uh, where we're going to be detecting today. And, uh, but I wanted to bring you up here. We're not going to be detecting right around this castle today. Maybe tomorrow, maybe another, another day. Um, but we will be down here near this. But I wanted to bring you up here. It is on the National and State Registry of Historic Places. I'll let you guys see that. I'll let you see... It is a genuine castle. You can see the gargoyles up there. You can see the turret. This is not my permission, though it's in my backyard. I'm here with the Johnny Bottles. So, Johnny's up here. We're gonna hit this place. Where we're gonna be at, you're gonna see a cave. You're gonna see some trash dumps, bottle dumps, all kinds of good stuff. So we're looking forward to a great day, a great time. Beautiful day to be out. Beautiful day to be out. Stay tuned. I'll bring you guys back as soon as we get started. It's real trashy site here. There's lots and lots of junk in the ground. I had to turn up my iron audio way up. So I, I brought my my lab Equinox and I have taken off the all metal mode because I do not want to hear everything here. Actually where I'm starting is the site of a big barn that once stood here and I was told that a kid burned it to the ground. And uh, we're gonna see just what we find. Is there treasure in the ground? I don't know but if I find it you're gonna find it because you're here with me. All right let's get started. Right there All right, let's see. Probably a lot of iron in here. You're gonna see lots of glass. There's a lot of trash in here. So, this is it right there. My first find of the day is, uh, what is it? So what is it? Looks like maybe, 
an electrical component. Maybe that went into something, turned. I don't know. All right, it's trashy. Let's keep going. All right, you guys, I am uh, I'm actually here on Johnny's permission and this is his uncle. And his uncle's a contractor. He's doing some work here and he has found something very interesting. He's actually bottle digging. And uh, what did you find? It says Shenango, China, Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Newcastle, Pennsylvania, that's just little north. Logo yeah. on the back of it. It's quite a treasure to find. There's a yep. little chip on the bottom there, but yeah. Yep, it's hard, hard to believe that it would be up here, just tossed like that. Well, I am of the mind that people are lazy. The house is there. Take it over there and throw it in the woods. Get rid of it. So yep. the sun goes out, because he's got to do it. And he dumps it as close as he can. But yep. Out of the way so no one can see it. So. Yep. I'm here still digging the same spot. Digging lots of trash. But I found something that's very interesting I want to show you guys. Look at this. Can you guys see this? Look at that. I don't know what this went to. This is a big piece of uh, stock iron. You can see it, and it's growing. This tree is growing right around that. And look at that. You can see, you see how much trash is in here. This, uh, this whole hillside here is full of trash. Look at this. Well, maybe we ought to dig around here a little bit. Maybe we can find some old buttons. Here's an old lid. We just have to dig. You got to have gloves on like this. I mean, you can see the glass is glass. Here's some pottery. It's probably a piece of china right there. Might have been the city dump for all I know. I don't see anything real old. I don't know what that went to. Yeah, a lot of a lot of trash. You know what? We may end up just coming up here with a shovel. And uh it looks like there's a little bit of a stone wall right here. And uh we might just dig some of this out. There's so much trash and garbage in the ground here that I think finding buttons and buckles. Anything associated like that is going to be virtually impossible. All right, Johnny came up and got me. He said he found something, so we're going to go take a look. What you got? So I found this by the Castle Cave entrance. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is awesome. You found that in that pile over there? Yep. Got some bling to it. No, it's just some decoration, Crazy. you know, nothing, you know, but it's, hey. It was lost, it was forgotten, and now it goes in my relic box. You found that over there in that pile? On that pile over there. Found some pennies and stuff too, but uh, hey. Yeah, that's awesome. Making do with what we got. Yep. Do we need to go over there? So I'll go out here a little bit further. I'm digging a lot of trash. I'm not showing you guys that. A lot of high tones, I mean, a lot of aluminum in it. Another thing, why the camera is rolling, and people that use the XP Deus, I mentioned this before on certain people's YouTube channels, if you're ever hunting underneath porches or whatnot, this is the best way. You just grab your coil and run it through. You know, that's one of the pluses about using this machine, the way it breaks down. So keep it in mind. Yeah, it's like a remote. You don't have the cord. Right. It's all, you know. It's cool. New way, new world, you know. XP days. All right, you guys. I found something that is not aluminum. And I have been digging a lot of aluminum. Now I'm here with Mr. Connors because it was exciting i pulled it out it wasn't that deep but it's because of the rocks because of the rocks right here let me pull you down here where you can see can you see okay um it's right here i thought it was a piece of trash but i think it's a medallion i think it's a piece of jewelry let's take a look it's on the other side here is it something is it no i don't know what it is don't know what it is 
might just be something from dog tag maybe well there is a place there where something went into it but there is nothing on it, but I don't know what it is. All right, you want to take a look at that? Yeah, I don't. We check it. around there, see if there's another and part to it. No numbers. I'm thinking dog tag or maybe a tag that was on a electrical box or something. Yep. It don't bend very easily. No. Yeah, it's pretty. Pretty, pretty hard. durable. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll I'll dig around here if I find anything else that is related to that. It's treasurable. I'll bring you guys back. It's right here. The pop top pull tab been pulling a lot of them out of the ground. Ooh, right there it is. Looky there. Looky there. Bingo, it's a flat button. All right, still got the shank on it. It's a good find. Pretty happy about that. I think it's old. There's no writing on the back here. See that? No writing. I don't know if it's Tom back. I think it's just a flat button. All right, let's keep going. That's awesome. All right, popped the plug, pulled it out. I can actually see it right there. Do you guys see that? You know what? This looks like a buffalo nickel to me. That's exactly what it is. I don't see a date. I'll clean that up. And I'll show it to you in the video. Alright, let's keep going. Here's the plug. Here's the hole. Popped it out. Pulled it out. It's in there. I see it, I see it, I see it. It's either a coin, computer button. It looks like a big, thick coin. I actually think this is an Indian head from 1862. You know what, this could be a pewter. I think that could be a pewter button. I think that's what that is. Let's go ask Johnny what he thinks it is. Because the edges are real chewy. Okay, so that, that's going to be a pewter button. It's going to be a pewter button. Mm -hmm. But I can't see a shank on it, but it's definitely pewter. I like it. Could be a game piece, too. You never know. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty cool. sure that's a barrel tap right there. Yeah, that's what that is. I'd say that's exactly what that's a beautiful piece, isn't mm -hmm. it? A button's not too, you know, it's just a. I see you got a buck winner. Yep, a little buck. Yeah, you're doing pretty good. Look at that. So there's the button. Yep. yep. Trouble it's a flat gale. button. And just a little piece of a buckle. Very that, nice. I like that too there. Yep. Yeah. I figured you found something. I heard you talking over there. Yeah, it's pewter. There's no doubt in my mind that's I like pewter. It. I like it a lot. All right, you guys, I am at the cave entrance. One of many caves, by the way. Really, really cool. Let me get you out of sunlight here. When I turn you guys around, you're gonna be absolutely amazed. Look at that. Look at that, it says Castle Cave. And, uh, See that? Um, from what I understand is the sandstone in here. This is all sandstone. You can see how brittle it is. So it's probably not that safe to go back in there. But you can see how the trail goes back. Goes back that way. Could go back that way too. And uh, don't know how far back in it goes. But I'm told that there are air vents above this. 
that's where Johnny Bottles and his uncle is right now. He's looking at the air vents. And uh, you could actually feel air coming out of this. It's a sizable cave. And I don't know if this was a mine or if it was just a cave for that castle there for the sandstone. But I want to show you something. See how, see how this rock right here, do you see this rock here? It has fallen down against this pipe right here. And you can see this chain is pretty daggone new, pretty new, right? And so this is a frequent landslide. It might be too dangerous to go in there. A lot of trash here. I think the community trash dump was up here. And, uh, you know, and it's not even treasurable trash. All right, you guys. Pull this out of the ground. It's not, it's not treasure, but it is interesting for those of you that aren't hunters. But this is a what they call a pumpkin ball. We call these pumpkin balls. This is a from a 12 gauge, and you can see it's lead. It's modern though, but. Uh, you know, it packs quite a punch. It's almost like, you know, what a Civil War bullet would be. If something like that would hit you, it would do some serious damage. But uh, people would hunt deer with this. And typically when there's a lot of houses around, because these bullets don't carry very far. And so, some municipalities have restrictions on hunting. And they limit it to bow, bows and arrows or uh, 12 gauge, 12 gauge with a pumpkin ball. So you can deer hunt. Typically this is used by deer hunters with a 12 gauge shotgun. So that's what that is. I don't find them very often quite honestly with you, but that's what that is. Popped it out, pulled it out. It's right here and I think it is a coin. Hopefully it is an old coin. Hopefully it's at least a wheat scent. Boy, it looks wiped. It is a wheat scent. It is a wheat scent. So let's uh, let's take a look. See what the year is. Oh boy. Yeah, I actually do see a date on there. Hmm, 1916 maybe? I don't know. All right, Mr. Connors, you tell me what it is. I need a magnifying glass. Oh, it looks like it's got a D or an S under it, which is good. 14, maybe. 1914. D or an S. There's, a, there's a, definitely a, a mint mark under it. All right, you guys, I'm going to have to get back with you on that. And that's when this place was being... Doug, you know, oh, cool. Like 1900s, you know, so 19, yeah, all right. So, here right there at the cave, right outside of the cave. Um, popped another plug. It's not a coin, it is a piece of lead, and it's old lead. And I think it might be just a small piece of a bucking ball. It hit something hard and flattened out. That's what I think. But you can see it's got some age to it. Can you see the white there? Typically when you see something like that, if it's lead and it's white, you're looking at about 100 years old at least. At least that's what I've been led to believe and what I've been told. Don't know if it's true, but I think that's what that is. And uh, what you got? There's that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yep, so you got like a little um, facet, maybe another part of yep. a zipper. Yep, that's lead. Since you were talking about lead. Yep. Not mm -hmm. much to going on, but you know. Odds and Yep. Yep, very good. We're just digging around here. That's all we're doing now. I mean, we're in a very tight quarter here, right in town. We're just digging around here to see what we can find. We're having fun, aren't we? I'm not showing you guys live digs because I'm finding so much trash. 
All right, folks, Johnny and I, we're going to hit the road. We're going to another place uh, we're going to detect not that far away. And uh, so we spent a whole lot of time here, but we had fun. I'm very happy yep. with that one. Yep, so that's pretty. It's, uh, it's brassy. Yeah. Yeah, might have went, nice might have, I, I think it might have went onto a sled. And as they were going across the the ground, you know, pulling across the yep. opening up there. Yep. Probably came off. Yeah, the mine, the mine's right up there. I think, I think it was a sand mine. I didn't show you guys the digs. The sand, the ground was very sandy. I mean, it, it was almost entirely sand. And and, that, and that's gonna clean up really nice. Yeah, it's got a lot of gold gilt on yeah, there. So it's gonna clean up real nice. A little bit. We're gonna head back and uh, we're gonna get the rest of his detector. And we're just gonna hit a site there, close to where I live. My son went to change out his coil to a small coil because it's real trashy in here and uh, you know Johnny recommended he go change that out so that's what he did while he was changing that out I'm digging buttons 